because he has tits. A man is now savior in a lawsuit. Hui! KSI Lord and Savior brought my son straight to me. KSI Lord and Savior. Check. Three weeks in the making, bitch! <laughs> What a load of bullshit! <laughs> so, you're telling me that you did all of this, three weeks in the making, all of this, just to get your son back. I don't know if you're stupid or just fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, how is this gonna give you custody of your son? All you've done is show yourself masturbating, swearing. If anything, this whole thing has fucked up your chances of you seeing your son. Like, Alessa is in the clear. All she's done is travel to England, been in a music video, said nothing, and then traveled back. She didn't write my diss track. I did. And you've actively gone out of your way to make a diss track on me. So essentially, you fucked yourself over. But I'm not done there. Let's let's listen to this. At the end of the day, all I care about is my goddamn son. Because that's the whole fucking reason I did this. If you had any kind of fucking integrity like you tattooed on your goddamn body you would check your you would check my fucking twitter you would talk to me you would see both ends of ends of the spectrum before completely slandering my fucking name okay so why does you talking to me have any effect on you getting your son or not like there's better ways to get your son back a diss track is not it's not the way to do it like if you were baiting me to do a diss track on you why didn't you just not do a diss track in the first place and just try to get your son just like that? Why did you have to make a diss track for me to reply and then you can make another diss track for everyone to then believe that you made this whole ploy to get your son back? Why didn't you just get your son back in the beginning? Like, <laughs> Adam, you make no sense. You're chatting shit. <laughs> Plus, you've essentially invalidated all your disses on me since this has nothing to do with me. Apparently, I mean, this is all about you trying to get your son. So your diss tracks aren't really diss tracks. They're bait <laughs> to get your son. So you should just change the title of all your songs to bait to get my son. Like that's, <laughs> that's what this is. I thought you had this all planned out. So then why are you crying on drama alert screaming you want to see your son when <laughs> you started all of this? I told you I didn't want to do a diss track on you. Vic DM'd you and said, Yo, don't do a diss track on KSI. He's talking to your ex, your baby mama. Be careful. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. And still you decided, fuck it. I need views. I want to go and make a diss track on KSI. And you got views, but at what cost, bro? At what fucking cost? If you were smart, you just wouldn't have made a diss track on me in the first place and you would have done what you needed to do to get your son back. Instead, you've decided to do a diss track and then pretend that you conjured this intricate, smart plan to get your son back, which we all know is full of shit. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. <laughs> You made a diss track and I replied. That's it. I'm sorry, bro, but it's really not that deep. <laughs> anyway, hopefully this is the end of this situation because, you know, Adam has just turned this into something that I don't think it was. Yeah, I hope you get your son back. Don't make a fucking diss track on me, bro. <laughs> Go get your son back instead. Like, do that.